Stickball in Cherokee, always say Ani Jody, little brother of war. My name's Cole Hogner. I belong to Choda Ceremonial Grounds. Born and raised here in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. In ancient times, stickball, it was used as a deference to going to war. Tribes, clans fighting over uh, something like hunting, fishing rights. They would try to settle that dispute over a game of stickball. Like I said, it was a war game. People died playing this game. The way that the game was set up, set of goals, opposite ends of a field, uh, could be small as a football-sized field, 100 yards thereabouts, could be miles long, village to village. 50, 100 men, 1,000 men or more chasing after this one little ball about that size. Fast forward hundreds and hundreds of years, uh, we developed what uh, has became known as a social game, it's a pole game. Object of this game is to take that ball, score points, hit the top of that pole behind me. Uh, you know, it's not about muscle. You know, there's a technique to getting that ball up in the air and getting it to where you want it to be. Just like anything, it takes practice. This pole game women do play, or most times uh, men versus women. But for the most part, it's always men on one side, women on the other. There's some strategy playing this game. The men have more rules as far as the game goes than the women do. Like I said, can't touch it, both your hands. Got to use your sticks, transport it, and score. The women, on the other hand, have no rules. They can do whatever they need to do to get that ball from the men. And that includes uh, maybe pulling hair, uh, getting them in the headlock, you know, kind of bulldogging them, taking them down. <laughs> Our sticks, these right here, Cherokee style sticks. Every tribe that played this game, which just about every tribe east of Mississippi, our homelands, you know, before uh, removal, before tribes migrated out west a ways, you could tell which tribe sticks you had by the way they were made, the way they looked, the webbing, even the ball. This little ball, it looks like a rough sketch of a baseball in today's time, softball. That was a Cherokee style ball. First learned ball stick making, I was about 16 years old, high school, uh, 10th grade or so. I used to make the ball sticks right there at the grounds. There's several styles of pairs to make, you know, Cherokee style and of course other tribal styles, but even the Cherokees got two or three different styles that are unique to us. Any type of hardwood would work for these sticks. I like using bow dark. A lot of people like hickory. Uh, made similar to the ways our bows were. Sinew is what a lot of people use for your string. Lacrosse originated from this ancient game of stick ball. Really, uh, if you look at it, uh, most sports that's structured the same way, you know, anything that's got a goal and opposite ends of the field came from our ancient sport. in Cherokee culture. Right now, we're kind of working on trying to build more membership at the grounds, you know, get more people interested. Uh, these grounds are hurting. You know, every year, less and less people are coming out. Uh, our elders that carry the stories, carry the songs, you know, they're dying out and taking it with them. And I think a large part of that was due to, you know, like the boarding schools, you know, the assimilation, you know, they were taught not to care that it's not as important as it should be. Go! <laughs> Drop it. We often say that we're perpetuating the culture. You know, every year we're trying to get more and more kids involved, more and more kids to take this serious, you know, at our grounds. We lose our languages, we lose our ways, and what good are we as a tribe? So it's very important to me, for not only me, the history, you know, the future of a tribe, to carry on these ways, you know, so we don't die out. You know, and it's something that uh, people that haven't experienced it won't understand.
stickball brings our people together, our communities. Any given day, like I said, put out the word, we're gonna play stickball on this day. People will work their schedules around that. They look for a reason to come out here and play, but the community as a whole, you know, it's just one big family. Proud to be Cherokee, proud to be a ceremonial person. We got little kids looking up to us, whether we know it or not. You know, they're carrying around their sticks, they're mimicking what we're doing. So eventually, you know, after our time is gone, you know, we're gonna be able to turn that responsibility over to them to carry it on for their kids and their generations to come. We're laying the groundwork for the future.